Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Crime branch of Nagpur Police has arrested two persons for allegedly printing fake currency notes, an official said. The accused learned printing of currency by watching tutorials on YouTube, he said. The accused Nilesh Kadbe, a history sheeter, and Maruf Khan alias Rafiq Khan had managed to circulate fake currency with the face value of Rs 2 lakhs in the market so far. Acting on a tip of the police raided Kadbe's house in Ektanagar locality on Saturday. Police has seized a computer to printer besides fake currency notes of Rs 100 denomination. Kadbe used to purchase food, liquor, electronic gadgets, etc. using fake currency. He had also purchased items from e-tailer, the official said. To avoid risk, he used to print fake notes of Rs 100 and Rs 50 denominations as circulating fake currency of Rs 500 is risky. Ahilya Bhai Holka's 296th Jayanti was celebrated on Monday at the headquarters of NIT. On the occasion, Shiv Sena member of parliament Krupal Tumane laid a writ at the statue of Punya Shlok Ahilya Bhai Holkar and Municipal Commissioner, Chairman of NIT Manoj Kumar, Suryavanshi and other dignitaries and officials were present. On this occasion, R. Lante and Executive Engineer Rajesh Mahagrajani as well as other officers and staff of Nagpur Metropolitan Region Development Authority and Nagpur Improvement Trust were present. MP Thumane and other dignitaries remains the contribution of the 18th century Maratha queen who led by example during the crucial stage when the Maratha empire was in a state of turmoil and threat of various imperialist power was looming large. Various other organizations based in the city like NMC and Shiv Sena besides Ahila Bayolkar Mandir in Dantoli celebrated her jayanti observing COVID-19 norms. Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakri on Sunday extended the lockdown in the state by 15 days, saying coronavirus disease cases are rising in some districts, especially the rural areas. At the same time, he acknowledged that daily cases in Maharashtra have gone down significantly over the last few days. But Thakri added that the number of cases is still near the peak of the first wave. The drop in COVID-19 cases is still not as expected, he said. The chief minister said that more curbs will be imposed in some districts while relaxation will be given in zones where COVID-19 cases are not increasing at alarming rate. We are unwillingly extending the lockdown. We are ramping up the health infrastructure. The unlocking will be done in great manner, said Thakre. He also appealed not appreciating the state government for unlocking certain activities. Maharashtra Energy Minister and Congress Leader Nitin Rauch on Sunday said seven years of Prime Minister Nandar Modi's government at the center has been fatal for the country with the people really under the burden of broken promises and psychrocating inflation. Prices of petrol had crossed Rs 100 per litre while diesel was retailing at Rs 90 per litre which was affecting common citizens while farmers who were promised that their income would be doubled by 2022 are seeing hike in seed and fertilizer prices. The Nagpur North MLS said. At a single press conference, Rao said the new agri-marketing laws as well as labor reforms brought in by the center were anti-people. The center government has failed on all fronts be it business, agriculture, education, GDP inflation, international relations. The seven-year rule of Prime Minister Nandar Modi's government has been fatal for the country and the economy too. Two cops, including a police sub-inspector, reportedly sustained severe bone injuries after they tried to prevent angry Congress workers from burning Prime Minister Nandar Modi's effigy at the Devadia Congress Bhavan in Nagpur City on Sunday. The injured cops, PSI Prahlad Shinde and Constable Dadaji Jambulkar, were immediately rushed to the Andhra Gandhi government Medical College and Hospital. According to sources, Congress workers had organized an agitation to express their anguish over Modi government's failure to handle COVID situation in the country and rising fuel prices at the Odia Congress Bhavan. A stringent police bandobast was beefed up in this regard. During the same, when Congress workers tried to burn Modi's effigy, the two cops reportedly tried to prevent the incidents. In the process, the duo sustained burn injuries and were rushed to IGGMC, commonly known as Mayo Hospital. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach Dikhai, Binachupai.